The poor man's ribeye. The chuck roast eye of the steak. Our last test on the pit boss. Can it get a crust? That's what it's all about today. Let's go. Got my flat top preheated. I'm trying something just a little bit different today. Since this video is all about the crust, I'm not gonna season the steak first. I'm gonna allow that Maillard reaction to happen to show you guys how well this thing performs. Just a little touch of avocado oil, not much. Just help it out just a hair. Flat tops are out 470. All right, I went to go check the meat. One telltale sign. Since this is a non-stick ceramic coated flat top, it should be easy for the food to release. You see how it's not coming up really much? Because it's not ready. You need to allow that crust to build and build and build. That's how you get that reaction and that's how you get that deep flavor. It's not ready. All right, I just checked them and this is for all the marbles. This has absolutely nothing to do with the video, but just for a side tonight for me and the wife, we just got frozen green beans. I just let them come out at room temperature for a little bit. All right, once you flip them over, now's the time to season them. I just got done seasoning. You're gonna add the seasonings you like. You guys know I love my cavender. The whole point of doing that was I didn't want the seasonings to mess up the crust or to show any type of, well, he used this seasoning, so it made that crust. He used that seasoning and it made that crust. I wanted the pure beef just to show you guys that it's done everything we've asked it to do. So that's why I seasoned it after we flipped it. So this is my steak trick. She says that I should show it on every single video because she loves it. A pat of butter, just a little bit of a W sauce. And just let that heat melt that butter and you're gonna create a pan sauce right there. Mm. All right guys, there you go. That was basically the last thing that I wanted to try before I do a comparison. Um, we're working on a cleaning video. Now we're gonna start comparing the griddles what we think about them, the pros, the cons. So other than that, my mouth is literally saliving. I like that idea. You guys comment below and let me know whether or not you season your meat before you put it on the grill, during the grill, or after the grill. I'd be interested to know because that crust is undeniable. Is it as good as a ribeye? Because they call it, what, the poor man's ribeye? Mm -hmm. That crust is phenomenal. That is some deep, deep crust. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's got flavor. It's got a lot of moisture, a lot of beefy. I don't know if it's as intense, as intense, but I think it's incredibly juicy. Okay, one last, uh, last quick tip. When you're doing steaks on your flat top, there's so much radiant heat and it cooks so fast. Try to get a thicker ribeye or a thicker steak than a thinner steak because the more time you allow your steak to sit on the grill to develop the crust, the deeper the flavor is gonna be. You can do that with avoiding overcooking if your steak is a lot fatter. So if you have a 12 ounces, for example, you can have thin 12 ounces that spread out further that cooks quick, or you can have a stacked 12 ounce and it takes longer to cook, but you're really developing that beef flavor 
And that's one thing that a flat top can do for you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Peace. Mm, let's eat. We should make a t-shirt on that. Mm. Let's eat.